Johnny Voss and Lord Fletcher's in Lake Minnetonka. Now we're here for the Randy Moss Invitational Celebrity Fishing Tournament, which I, I would imagine means we're going to see a lot of big mouths today. Now that he's no longer a Minnesota Viking, maybe he'll actually talk to us. Stick around. Do the pro anglers wear numbers or anything? Uh, any? How do you know which is which? They pair celebrities with actual pro fishermen. So where do you qualify in that? Are you a, a pro fisherman or are I'm, you I'm a actually o I'm actually overqualified. <laughs> Watch your step there, you know. Yeah. You make one wrong step, that ends the day for us. Are you a big fisherman? I Well, I'm big, but I don't know about fishing. <laughs> Those are all the pro... <laughs> What's that, man? Are you a big fisherman? I love fish. I love, yeah, hell yeah. You don't look the part so much. Huh? Guy Feldman and Biz Markey up front. Actually. This is kind of like practice. I mean, football practice. I mean, we going out here and we competing for bragging rights for until next year. Oh, it's big. Oh! Hey, I'm gonna kick his butt today. Randy and I have been friends for seven years. We started fishing together when he first came to Minnesota as a rookie. Smile Network fixes cleft palates for kids and deformities in third world countries. That's big with Randy, it's big with me. We have three love. We love sports, we love fishing, and most of all, we love children. That's what it's about. we got to interview some of these girls and find out what their deal is. We're on our way to go meet Roy Jones Jr. Really? Oh. Can we follow you? Yeah. No way. I think we were going to talk to the champ. You're paired with the champ? I am. How, how you I'm think you guys champ. are going to do it? Excited to have him aboard. As you can tell, so are they. This is a huge honor, man. Just, We're going to win it. You got the champ out here? Yeah. yeah. The I refer to you as the champ. You said, no, he's the champ. The champ and the champ. <laughs> We're getting a lot of stuff today, man. Maybe that's the deal. We just got to go to charity events. The harvest has begun from Lake Minnetonka. We're going to take a little break. I believe they're giving uh, massages for donations down there. Hi. I'm probably not going to do a lot of talking during this. Thank you. How was it? Excellent. $5. Randy Moss will personalize and sign for you. Really? You don't have wanna any Viking balls? Wanna yeah. try now, we're about a half hour from weigh-in. Remember, this is a competition. Now, I got to say that, that my money, if I had any, was would be on Randy Moss and, and his crew. However, Michael Bennett was the, the best dressed. Miss Minnesota, how'd you do? I caught a sunny and that was it. That was it? You think you did better than the other boxers in this tournament? I know I did better than other boxers because they probably caught one or two. I caught at least five. Go. 20 pounds and the guy ain't smiling. What's up with that? I would like to get him without eight other people around. Mr. Moss, can we get a, a, a word whenever you, you get man? a chance? What you got? I just wanted to thank you for coming back, man. It's good to see you back in the yeah, state, man. Yeah, no doubt. Um, talk a little bit about, if you can, you know, it seems that everyone's always concerned about what, what guys do off the, off the field, uh -huh. and then you don't usually get the, the, the same kind of press for an event like this. Man, we don't worry about that, man. That's the good thing about, you know, good people. Uh, you know, you don't really need the publicity, man. As long as we know... You know, as a charity event, you know, somebody's benefiting from this. Uh, and this, ha this charity event happens to benefit children. So, uh, you know, I think, that it, as we know, the people here know it's for a good cause, man. That's all that matters. Was it tough to come back to a state that, that loves you so much? Man, I, I, I'm, I've been used to it, man. I've gotten so, you know, accustomed to, you know, how the people treat me, you know, how the fans treat me, man. It was just so good. You know, I had a good run here, man. I enjoyed it, and, you know, that's really all I can say. Are we going to see you back here doing this tournament again next year? Man, I would love to. I mean, it seems like everyone had a great time, and, uh, you know, it was a good turnout. And, uh, you know, I've never been to a live weigh-in before, so, uh, you know, that, that, that was something, you know, to open my eyes, man. But like I said, we, we had a good time. It seems like all the anglers and uh, celebrities had a good time, man. So, fans did too. Well, they, if, if Lord Fletcher's and, and, and uh, the city don't mind having us, man, we'd love to do it again. Where's Bismarck E today? I don't know. Probably got drunk, man. <laughs> right all right. Thanks, Hank. Yeah. We missed you, man. Now, as far as what he does for the community, he takes a rap. I've given him a bad rap at times. You can see what he's done as far as the turnout and the people that he's brought in here. Uh, and he was friendly enough to talk to us as well. So uh, this is kind of a bittersweet deal because, uh, you know, like I say, we've, we've gone back and forth. I'm sure Vikings fans have gone back and forth with the guy. And you see him back here in, in the state of Minnesota, you, you kind of... You kind of think about what could have been, but I'll say one thing. I salute Mr. Moss, and thanks for having us out here. Uh, wish he was still a bike. That's great. Hey, we got the big fish. They not in there. Johnny Voss, and uh, the day is, is coming to an end right now. They have just announced the winner, which was an old friend, actually, Ryan Patalny. They took it 22.4 was, I believe, the, uh, the official winning weight. Mr. Moss did a great job bringing other, other celebrities in.
He did a great job talking to us. I was pleased with that as well. So uh, for the Randy Moss Invitational Bass Tournament, I'm Johnny Voss. We're at Lake Minnetonka. We'll see you next year.